Hello tarot lovers and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Elizabeth and on this channel we talk about building your spiritual confidence so you can listen to your intuition and read your tarot cards with ease. And today we are going to be looking at the strength card reimagined. So how are we going to reimagine the strength card? Well, I'm going to be looking at one, two, three, four, five, six decks. And we are going to be understanding the strength card from a different perspective. So we're going to be looking at before tarot, Rider Waite Smith, the strength card. And I always use Rider Waite Smith because it's the most universal deck. Um, after tarot, tarot of the new vision. In between tarot, and vice versa tarot, which is a double-sided deck. So I'm going to spin the camera around in a minute and I'm going to be talking about the strength card in a really creative and different way to help you get a much deeper understanding of the card. I'll see you in a moment. I love these cards to show a deeper meaning of the strength card. Um, if we look at the, oh, the deck I'm using today is a little bit different. This is a La Scarabeo deck and I don't know if it's in print anymore. I was really drawn to it just because of the shading of the color. I just thought it was absolutely beautiful. So I'm using this lovely deck. I normally use this deck here, which is the one I recommend that you get because it's a really good basic deck to um, use if you're learning the tarot. So let's have a look at these cards and get a deeper understanding of the strength card. If you are new to the decks and you haven't got a really good understanding of the imagery in this deck, in the Rider Waite Smith, I have got, I will make sure there is a link to my playlist where you can see a deeper dive into the meanings in the card. So let's have a look. So we've got our first card, which is before tarot. And the, in this card, you can see you've got the lion here. He's holding his foot up. Oh, it just says, like the lion whose foot was pierced by a thorn in Aesop's fables. It doesn't actually say which fable, which is very annoying because I can't think. I'll have to go and if I find it or if any of you know of an Aesop's fable where the lion's paw was paw pierced by a thorn, then please do let me know. You can see here she's holding the wreath that she has around her waist. She's actually directing that towards the lion. And that's about her um, showing her purity in her white gown and also the roses, which represent passion, but the lilies, which represents innocence and purity in that passion. So what she's saying is that she is of pure spirit and pure motivation as she joins the lion in the passion. If you look in the background, there is a mountain and the mountains in the tarot generally are an image of your uh, spiritual journey. And as we move through and I show you the other cards, the mountain actually becomes quite important in one of the interpretations. You can see here in the strength card that she is now, she might be stroking his head. I've seen it interpreted as opening his mouth. Um, but whatever she's doing, she's taming the lion, but she's taming the lion with compassion. Here you can see she's, after tarot, she has tamed the lion. She leans forward. She puts her arms around him and he allows her to be part of that unbridled passion and for that passion to be contained. Then when we look at tarot of the new vision. So this is us standing behind the woman in 
the strength card and we're looking out at what's going on inside the card from the woman's perspective. And you can see that she's turned around and she's looking at the mountain. And on the mountain is Hercules. And Hercules is feet of clay. You can see he's actually part of the mountain. And the reason for that is Hercules here is representing when he fought Hydra and then said, I am the presence, I am the passion, I am the strength, I am all virtuous which, of course, the moment he became conceited, um, boastful and not mindful of his own humility, he crumbled and he failed. So that's the idea of the mountain here, this idea of it representing your spiritual journey, but the spiritual journey being one that you must have strength, but alongside that strength, you must have compassion. And so we see here that the woman has tamed the lion. She's holding her head, his head a little bit more like in the strength card. Um, and the snake behind her here. Now, often we think of snakes as being, oh, no, poisonous, evil, all of that. This is about her challenge to her wisdom. So the, if we think about the snake in the tree of life, which goes back to the lover's card, where we've got the snake. I find the lover's card, I'll show you. And there's also a snake actually in the, when I think about it, the... Um, the Wheel of Fortune. So I'll get both to show you. It's always when I start talking about the cards, I'm like, oh, yes, then there's this and that. So in the Lover's card, you can see here the snake in the Tree of Life where she is tempted with the temptation of knowledge. And then here we look at the Wheel of Fortune. And this is where the symbolism, it just all links in. Every card links to the, you know, if you look at the symbolism, it all links in. So it starts to become, as you get to know the symbolism, it starts to become easier and easier to look at. And here is the Wheel of Fortune. And of course we have, and I will do a deep dive into this card, but I just want you to see the snake here, which is re representative of the wisdom that you need in the turning wheel of life as we travel, well, through the major arcana and through our life. So, the symbolism of the snake is about her challenges to her wisdom as she travels in her journey through life. Then we're going to look at, this is Tarot of the New Vision, and this is a really interesting deck to learn from because it does a blend between this card and the next card, which is the Hermit. And you've even got here the label so you know which card's the next card. And I think if you're learning to read, I actually think this deck, as I'm really getting to know it and talking about each card, would be amazing to read from because you're going to have, obviously, if you're doing a reading, you're going to have whichever card goes beside. But when you look at that card, you're looking at this card and what comes next to help you get a sense of how you might read this card in a reading. And so if we look at in between tarot, we see the lion on this side and the hermit on this side into the archway that we are walking through for our spiritual journey. So what does this represent? And what the card is doing is it's linking together the strength that we apply with compassion and the self-reflection that we apply with inward vision, which is what the Hermit card is about, as we go on our spiritual journey. So it's really about combining both images of the two cards into the one card, thinking about that transition. Why is it that strength and then the hermit are in that flow as they go through the deck? And as we look more and more at Rider-Waite-Smith, I've got so much more to look at in terms of looking at this deck. 
Um, we will certainly look at the flow of the deck as well and the intention, um, Arthur Waite's intention through the flow of the deck. And then the last card we're going to look at, and I find these really, really interesting. This is um, Vice Versa Tarot. So this is a really interesting deck. And if you'd like to see a deeper dive into these decks, I did right at the very beginning when I started this Tarot Reimagined series, I went through each one of the decks uh, that I'm using. So we've got Before Tarot, Rider Waite Smith Tarot, After Tarot, Tarot of the New Vision, uh, in between tarot and vice versa tarot. And you can see here, there's no sense of which side you should be reading. The idea is, is that these cards all mix up in the deck and then whichever card goes down as you're reading is the card that you are intended to read or the meaning, the nuance of meaning you're intended to read. So if we look here, this is about, again, using your strength and your talents and your successes with compassion and not being scared to step out there into the world and use them. You can see here she is actively opening up the lion's mouth. There's no um, confusion there at all. I mean, if we look at this card, you can see that it's not clear. Maybe she's opening his mouth. Maybe she's patting him. I mean, I always see it as opening his mouth, but when Prince Charming looked at it, he said, no, she's stroking him. She's stroking, you know, over his over his head and, and down his neck. So it's interesting. It's, it's not clear what the interpretation is there other than whatever she's doing, she's doing it with compassion. It's about controlling that the uncontrollable and how you go about doing that. So here, this card is about stepping out and saying, hey, I'm, go I'm not going to be frightened. I'm going to sit right there, right with the lion, and I'm going to open his mouth and I'm going to be brave about it. The other side, of course, is our shadow side. And the devil here in this card is reminding us that with strength and leadership, comes responsibility. So this idea of really stepping into your shadow side and recognizing that if you are going to embrace your strength, if you are going to um, control it and manage it and use it, that you really must step into um, that deeper part of yourself and recognize your motivations. Um, the Hermit card uh, it's interesting that they didn't build the hermit into that. Maybe they thought the devil was a, a better a representation of that because the hermit is the next card. So I'm surprised that they didn't. And because the very meaning of the hermit is that deeper personal reflection. So quite different from the hanged man where you're hanging upside down, you're taking time out, but you're looking at life from a different perspective. This is about... Um, looking deeper within yourself for the answers. So that is the strength card. Our next card, of course, is the hermit card. So I do hope that you will like, subscribe and hit that notifications bell so you never miss an upload. And better still, you become part of my free tarot lovers community where we have Goodness, I think I upload every two to three days new trainings about the tarot and they're all available for you for free and I often have goodies available for you in my emails that you can access to help you with your tarot learning journey. I have quizzes and free ebooks and all sorts of things and some things, of course, are paid for as well, but everything is what you would like to do rather than an enforced purchase. So I do hope you'll be part of my community. The link is down in the description box for you. Connect with your deck.com is where you will find all the links. Um, take care, everybody. And I can't wait to look at the next card, which is the Hermit. Bye-bye.